So pollution is a, air pollution is a worldwide phenomenon. Even in France recently, cars have had a temporary ban due to excessive air pollution. And we've seen the very excessive, we've seen the very visual effects of air pollution and also the density of the matter that's being breathing in, breathed in. But actually for a mother looking after a child, what is, what is their exposure to air pollution and what is their impact on breathing? Well, Yuhu provides information and insights so people can defend themselves against the challenges of severe air pollution. So Yuhu, Yohu, excellent breathing. So our product offering, uh, so the target market, so um, initially in China, so a large population, then in the top 20 um, top polluted cities, there's, um, uh, and then look, breaking that down further, there's the urban affluent and middle class, and our target market are, people, are the sensitive groups, so people in uh, the silver generation and the young generation, people with respiratory conditions such as asthma, and also people that have bought air purifiers previously, and there's an overlap between the, these three groups. Um, and this is only China as well. So when you look at the, the overall market, we've looked at various health sensors, and there's also various um, air quality sensors. But actually what we see is that there are people that are concerned by air pollution, but also have health conditions that they want to, they want to look out for. So our focus is really to look at both, both elements together. That's our target market. So for our product offering, um, we're currently prototyping a health wearable device that measures your breathing, an air quality sensing device that breaks down this cocktail of air that we're breathing in, and also we have the ability to get government data, sort of regional government data on air quality. So we bring that all together into the cloud and then provide insights to, to users. Um, so as an example for an insight, so say it's a, uh, there's some air pollution, air polluted day, um, actually, so you're doing some activity outside, and then the, the, uh, the wearable device will indicate, um, indicate the, your sort of performance. And what we're, what we're trying to do is tailor a size of a tank of air, effectively, that you can be outside and be within safe thresholds for air pollution. So this tank will be based on your physiology, whether you have a respiratory condition, or something. So, that will, so when you're outside, your mother will, be able to, mother will be able to look after a child and see how long they'll be outside. Um, so in terms of the two products, these are, these are current prototypes that we're developing at the moment. So one air quality device that measures particulate matter that will sit in your living room, and then another device that's a health wearable device that will measure your breathing, including your blood oxygen levels, which is a, a measure of the efficiency of your, of your lungs. Um, so uh, if you, what are the other options on the market? So you can download an app that gives you regional air quality, so for example, CAN here in Hong Kong. Um, or you can buy a local indoor air quality device. Um, then you can buy a health wearable device that does approximately about 200 US dollars. And what we're trying to do is combine the two together with a price point of about 500 US dollars to measure your local air quality and also your breathing, your breathing levels. Um, so our competitive advantage, excuse me, our competitive advantage are we have proprietary algorithms that are able to size this air tank of air and various other insights, including how to measure your sleep and indoor air quality. Um, we're also looking at a painting the process of connecting these two data sets. And finally, we have a first mover data advantage on combining these two data sets. Um, so where we're at at the moment, so we're currently doing a prototyping at the University of Science and Technology, uh, on HKUST, and developing the app. And we're looking to, 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 release, um, some, to release some apps, uh, to release the prototypes over the coming months and fully go to market in a year's time. Um, in terms of the team, so um, uh, the co one of the co-founders, Dustin, is here. He has a healthcare background. Um, I have a background in sustainable design of buildings. Um, Yoshi, uh, an industrial designer from Yamaha, and Brian, who's working on software. <coughs> um, in terms of our advice, we have Michael Song here today, who, was, uh, who used to head up their MIT wearable computing lab. Um, Cassian and Michelle, who are advising respectively on retail and on medical points. Um, what we seek from Cocoon, so we're looking for initial funding to carry on prototyping in June, and also to meet people who are interested in air quality and also in hardware development here in Hong Kong. Um, so to summarize, Yuhu provides information and insights so people can defend themselves against the challenges of air pollution, and we'll be happy to, to discuss this further if you're interested. Thank you.